Hello, hello, dear viewers. Welcome to our channel. It's very good to have you here. In this video, we'll be having a look at the comparison between a contact point type distributor and a distributor that is used on electronic ignition system. This one is a, a inductive pickup type electronic ignition distributor. But whereas when it comes to here, we have a contact point type distributor that is using a breaker point assembly. Now, what we are going to do is we are going to compare the advantages and the disadvantages. Well, let's begin be from the contact point type distributor. So, the contact point type distributor, it uses a contact point right here you can see a contact point it uses this contact point to open and close the primary current of the ignition system look there is a cam plate here on the distributor shaft and there is a rubbing block with a movable contact and there is a fixed contact now when the two contacts are in contact like so current will flow through the primary winding but when the contact point opens just like this, current flow is interrupted. This is where high voltage is generated inside the ignition coil. And we distribute that ignition spark to the different cylinders so that the air-fuel mixture will be ignited. Now, what disadvantage do we have with this type of distributors? As you can see, there are mechanically moving parts. So this contact point is a mechanical switch. Whenever there is a mechanical motion and whenever there is a mechanical switch involved, there is always wear and tear. Every time the contact point opens and closes, there are moving parts and there are rubbing parts. That will lead to wear and tear. So let's see some of the disadvantages happening as a result. Look, for example, every time the contact points open here, because it is a mechanical switch, every time the contact points open here, that will cause a spark. When primary current is interrupted, the voltage that is generated inside the ignition coil by self-induction will cause the contact points to spark. This we call it arcing. That will lead to burning of these contact points. Now, when contact points burn gradually, they will no more be having reliable contact. So that is one disadvantage. Every time they arc, material is removed from the contact point face and that will lead to irregular surface and that will lead to non-reliable contact. That is one disadvantage. So as it wears down, as too much spark is generated here, it will wear down and then the timing and the dwell angle of this contact point assembly will gradually change. Now in order to minimize that effect, we will connect a capacitor of this kind in parallel to the contact point. But even though there are capacitors connected, arcing will always be there. The, ma the magnitude of the arcing will be reduced, but still arcing continues. And this will gradually burn the contact point, and over time they need to be replaced. That is one disadvantage. The other disadvantage, because it is a mechanical switch, as I have previously mentioned, you see there is a rubbing block there on the movable arm of the contact point. There is a rubbing block, usually made of plastic, uh, some hardened plastic material, and that will rub on the cam plate. Now, what happens is, as it wears down, due to the friction, the gap between the cam plate and the rubbing block changes. This gap changes. Now, what will happen to that? When that changes, it will change the ignition timing. The ignition timing is basically determined by the time at which this contact point just opens. And that is indirectly affected by the gap between this rubbing block and the cam plate. Now, as they wear down, they change both the ignition timing and the dwell angle. And as we know, the dwell angle will determine how much energy will be stored inside the ignition coil. So, wear of the rubbing block will change the ignition timing and also it will change the dwell. 
The other disadvantage, these contact points are closed by a spring. Here there is a black spring, I don't know if it is visible on you, on the camera or not, there is a, a spring. Now the contact point is closed by this spring. Now what is the disadvantage of having this? RPM limit will be there. Because at extremely high RPM, above some RPM, spring couldn't close fast enough. When the engine is accelerated and when the distributor is running at extremely high speed, the spring could not close the contact points fast enough. So it will start vibrating, the spring will start oscillating and that will cause loose contact between these contact points. So this will lead to misfire. So that is the other disadvantage. At extremely high speed, closing the contact point with that spring will become very challenging and that will lead to contact point irregular vibration and that will somehow lead to misfire. That is the other disadvantage. And again we have another disadvantage. If the ignition switch is left open with a contact point closed like this, let's say for example you are working on another electrical system and you turn the ignition switch on and left it open with the contact point closed, what will happen to the ignition coil? The ignition coil will start to overheat because if the contact points are closed like this, current will continuously flow through the primary winding. So that will lead to coil failure because of overheating. So these are some of the disadvantages associated with contact point distributor. So gradually the timing will change. Now you need to adjust the ignition timing by loosening these mounting bolts and moving the contact breaker assembly closer or farther away from this camp plate. So they require maintenance. Now when it comes to the electronic type, let's have a look at this electronic type. This is a one that is being used on most of the modern vehicles. There are different types of electronic ignition mechanisms, but now we are looking at the inductive pickup type here. Well, look what is happening. When the distributor is running, there is no contact at all. No rubbing parts, no mechanical touching parts, no friction is there. Everything is taking place electronically. So what is happening is, here we have a coil and uh, a magnet. Now, as this rotates, it will induce voltage on the coil. That induced voltage will be used to turn on and off the primary circuit which is electronically done by using transistors. So this is a better advantage than the contact point type. Because there is no mechanical switching, all the switching is done electronically. So electronic ignitions do not use contact point, they have transistors that serve as electronic switches that turn the coil's primary current on and off. Now, you can use this for long period compared to the contact point you can use it for way too much period and because of the fact that there are no arcing produced primary current turning on and off will be very smooth but when it comes to the contact point side due to that arcing at the contact point as they open and close due to that arcing primary circuit on and off will not be as smooth as the electronic type so, when we compare both, by far, the electronic ignition distributors that are using non-mechanical switches are way better. We have high voltage that can be generated at the secondary because there is a smooth current on and off inside the primary. And due to the fact that there are no mechanical parts, this is relatively maintenance free compared to the contact point type distributors. That is why almost all modern vehicles are now converting their ignition to electronic ignition type. There are different types of electronic ignition types. There are distributorless types. There are those using distributors. This is the one that is using distributor and having inductive pickup coil. So this is by far the most rigged and the most maintenance free distributor compared to
the contact point type distributor. So this is some of the comparison. I hope you have enjoyed this video. If you like this video, please smash the like button. This is a very nice comparison between the contact point type and between the electronic distributor type. If you are new to this channel, don't forget to subscribe and turn on the notification so that you'll be notified whenever we come up with another video. Till then, stay safe.